This is MikeBot. Some of you may have seen my post on Facebook indicating I have a really severe issue with one of my P1Ps. Well, it's been upgraded to a P1S, but essentially a P1P. With the famous or infamous to me error 0500 underscore 0300 underscore 0001 underscore 0002. So typically this issue can be fixed with replacement of the PCBA boards or the bridge cable or the tool head cable. But that wasn't the case uh, in my situation, unfortunately. So I have replaced the board four times, both boards four times, uh, the tool head cable three times, and the issue still remained. I did some digging and searching and, you know, all that fun stuff. And then I found this. So if you look, so if you look right there, underneath the tool head cable, you can see one of the circuits is burnt out completely. And I will point to it in just a second here. This one right here. So you can see it's black, it's burnt. It's basically the MC board is garbage at this point. So, I ordered one, but then I decided to look through all my spare parts, and I found a spare one. So because I have that spare one, I'm going to go ahead and do a video for everyone. This sucks for me because I just ordered tons of parts, thinking my eight PCB boards and all the bridgehead cables and all that were the just defective, because Bamboo hasn't been reliable in that sense for me with parts. But no. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and start taking apart this MC board and then putting the new one in. I'll try to narrate throughout it, but there isn't really much to narrate. Essentially, you're just removing all the cables, removing the uh, poop chute, and removing the screws, followed by basically um, putting in the new board, adding the heat sink, putting the cables back in, and replacing the poop chute. So. Hopefully this video helps somebody out down the road, and if not, oh well, at least I have it uh, documented on YouTube. So without further ado, let's begin. So I'm going to try to do this in such a way that it doesn't uh, get it, the camera doesn't get in my way, but I will try my best to show everything off. So I'm going to start by removing the poop shoot first, and it's basically held on by two screws at the top, and I'll show you that right now. And then while I'm showing everything off i'll show you what the tool head looks like right now So here are the first two screws, put those aside, you don't want to lose those. So what I'm doing as well, all the other screws that I had, I basically put them on a magnet so I don't lose them. So next for the poop chute there are two more screws and they are located right here. So something interesting, I just noticed that one of the screws is missing and I've never taken apart the poop chute before so that's kind of weird. So now that I've removed the poop chute, I can begin by unplugging all the cables. By the way, I will state the obvious, make sure your printer is not powered on or plugged in. Make sure that it's, it's been unplugged. Some of the cables are glued in there and they are a little bit more difficult to remove. Be very gentle. So most of the cables have been removed. Now I'm just gonna unscrew it. It's four screws and then I will try to get rid of the, or remove the last of the cables. So 
So I'm just going to point out the fan on my P1P because I did upgrade it to a P1S and this is where the MC fan goes. That was a pain to install but it was a must for me. So here is the MC board. And I'll show you where it's burnt again. I will take a photo of it and uh, showcase it. So how did I find this issue? Well, I used a magnifying glass basically and I used this guy here. So you can see it a little better now. All right, so another thing I believe is you need to keep the heat sink. I'm not sure if the new board comes with a heat sink. I will open it up in a second here and then I'm gonna pause the video and take a break. So I will take a picture of both of these and showcase them in a second. So I'm going to pause here, take a break. I almost dropped the MC board, which tells me I need some coffee. So that little uh, bottom right corner, there's a little um, uh, piece of metal. It's, it's a grounding wire. Make sure that goes on top of the board, not under it. Don't over tighten the screws until all four screws are in. And then you can tighten them. And again, don't over tighten them. So just put them in loosely and then tighten them slowly one by one once everything is in. Bamboo is so freaking cheap. They don't even include new screws with half the parts they give you. Like, come on, Bamboo. Seriously. And I just dropped one of the screws. Jesus. Like, come on. You really should throw in some damn extra screws, Bamboo. Like, how cheap are you? Had I lost this screw, I would have been in trouble. Okay, and just like that, the screws are in. Now I get a rewire of the board. Trying to remember where everything goes is tricky. I might have to replay my video, uh, the first part of this video. I can't remember where the last two wires went and I don't want to screw this up. All right, so I'm just gonna go over this really quickly and um, then I will resume the video and power everything on. All right, moment of truth. I turn the light off just in case there are sparks. Hopefully not. Uh, with the lights off, I'll be able to see if there's any sparking, basically. So, wish me luck. I know by the time you watch this, it's already said and done. So, anyway, here we go. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Please don't fry. All right, all the temperatures are showing. Everything looks good. I have an error message that I need to look into. It's 0300, 0800, 0300, 0800 something. Anyway, I'm going to shut this off, reassemble everything, and then I'll troubleshoot the errors afterwards.
All right, so I got my printer back up and running. Uh, I had the two motor cables reversed. That was what the 0800 error was. Problem solved. So now I booted up the printer and I received a weird error saying my nozzle temperature was over 300 degrees, but that's basically because the firmware is out of date. The new uh, MC board doesn't have the latest firmware, so I gotta do a firmware update and then I think I'm back up and running. So basically, I'm just going to update the firmware to the latest one. Then I'm going to reinstall the uh, poop chute here. And that's basically it. So what I want to show you is that green light in the back of the tool head cable, uh, the tool head board there. That's the light you want to look for to basically successfully confirm that it's working again. So once my firmware is done, that's basically it. So I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm going to reassemble everything and just go over what I did and that's basically it so if you have any questions or comments please leave them below if you enjoyed this video hit that like button if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel make sure you get yourself a magnifying glass and some tools I will summarize all of this at the end of the video but that's it for this portion uh, like I said I'm just gonna clean everything up and then I'll resume from there I've reassembled the printer and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show everybody how I'm going to power it up from scratch and how everything looks just to show everyone that it was back up and running. I will, uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to just tell you it's up and running. I've been printing with it for three days since uh, I filmed this portion of the video. So uh, as you saw there, I just hit the power switch, the printer powered on, everything was good, ran a calibration ran a few tests all the fans are running everything was good got the mc board fixed that nightmare is over thank goodness anyway if you have any questions or comments about this video please leave them below and i'll do my best to answer your questions i am not affiliated to bamboo or sponsored by bamboo i am doing this out of the kindness of my heart and because i'm trying to build a good subscriber base and fan base on youtube if you're interested in uh, joining my Patreon, make sure you check it out. I do apologize for the speediness of this clip. I haven't been feeling well for the last week, hence why it took me so long to finalize this video. Uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching today. Mike Bot out. Thank you for watching Mike Bot Entertain. Man.